Here we go. So I am Dr. Nicole Laird with Hayes County Physical Therapy and Wellness here in Kyle, Texas. And we help women with pelvic pain and leaking issues and just act, navigate the world of being a woman and be able to return to their active lifestyles. Um, and I am here with uh, Medea with Phoenix Oils and I'll let her introduce herself. Hi everybody, thanks Nicole. Um, and thanks for inviting me. My name is Medea Taylor. I am with Phoenix Body Work and Wellness and Phoenix Oils. So I have been a massage therapist for over five years and a wellness advocate for doTERRA essential oils for about the same time. Those two came together for me. I do have a massage practice here in Buda, and um, which unfortunately I can't practice right now, but that's okay. Um, so what yeah, so I'm just here with Nicole, and we're just going to talk about muscles today. Yeah, so we wanted to get together and just go through and lead a few short classes, um, mini workshops, I guess you could call them, because we know we are all going through this collective crazy time together. We're all learning how to deal with the new normal. And what I'm seeing in my practice and what I'm hearing is a lot of people with new aches and pains and how do I handle my new schedule and how do I stay sane and stress-free, which if anybody else figures out how to do that really well, let us know because we'd love to have you on too. <laughs> yeah. But we wanted to come through and go through the seven or eight different areas that we're working on in our lives. And this is an ongoing project. This was going on for me well before the uh, coronavirus came into play, but I wanted to come on and talk a little bit about how I'm dealing with this and how I'm incorporating some of these wellness tricks into my daily life. Um, and then also talking about what kind of oils and different um, things, techniques, maybe even some soft tissue work that we use in the massage world that we could maybe incorporate into our day-to-day -day work uh, so that we can all come out on the other side of this healthier, happier, and more um, resilient. I just, I like that word, resilient. Um, so, so today we want to talk about the physical stress Mom, and pain. Mom, I took oh, a picture look, of my king bed. That's lovely. So we're all also dealing with the working from home and having kids and childcare situations. So sorry for that, but get a little extra. <laughs> You get to see real, real life. I took a picture of my bookshelf. I took a picture. Awesome. Hey, can you give me just a minute? <laughs> so I wanted to talk about working from home today and what we're seeing um, in our practices and what we're hearing from our clients and what we're hearing and, and ways that we can help from home. So I'm hearing a lot of people saying, man, my back hurts, my neck hurts, I'm getting more headaches, um, I'm getting more back aches, um, shoulder pain. And, you know, you don't really think about it, but that really nice thousand dollar office chair that you're used to sitting in, it actually, it doesn't seem, it just seems like it's a piece of office furniture, but it actually is providing you with a really nice support so that you can sit at your desk all day long without pain and discomfort. And now we're all sitting at home at our kitchen tables or our makeshift office, or maybe on the floor, um, or maybe for me, a lot of people who I, I am seeing are saying they're up and down off the floor with their kids so much more than they ever were before, and they have new aches and pains that they had no idea that they were going to encounter now that things are different. Um, so we have one or two camps. We got people who are sitting in, in office chairs or sitting in kitchen chairs or on the couch or on the floor or laying back in their bed working from home. And then I hear a lot of other people who their activity level has skyrocketed because they have more time at home. They're not having to commute two hours into Austin and back two hours every day. And so it's opened up their schedule to get their workouts and more walks with families and then playing with their kids even more because everybody's at home now. And quite frankly, staying inside all day long when it's a beautiful sunny day is just not really an option. Um, at least for us, it's not an option because we'll all go stir crazy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we wanted to talk today about what can you do in some of the oils and the different um, products that we have at doTERRA that can help with some of that stuff. And then I'll talk a little more about what are some stretches and 
things that you can do to fix your desk situation. And then also just moving throughout the day. How can you get movement throughout the day so you're not stiff and sore at the end of the day? So I'm going to turn it over to Medea so she can talk a little bit more about what she does as a massage therapist and a wellness advocate. Um, and then we'll talk more about how to set up your workstation a little bit better. Awesome. Thanks, Nicole. So one of my favorite oils to use in my practice, it, it's deep blue. And this is probably going to show backwards, so I apologize for that. But deep blue is basically the oil for aching muscles and joints. Um, and it also comes in a rub, which I love both of these products. I use this for little areas and this for big areas. Um, so just a couple of ways that you can use the deep blue. Um, it has a really nice menthol camper smell to it. And you just put a few drops in your hand, rub it together, and just take a quick deep breath. And that deep breath is going to help bring your shoulders away from your ears, which apparently mine were really up there already today. I I am doing... I am making attempts to work from home with a seven-year-old. My grandson lives with us. But at the end of the day, you can just kind of, this muscle here, and if you guys can feel it, it's tight probably, is your trapezius. And you can just put that on there and just kind of rub it in. And I'm going to show you on my arm. Just kind of do some motion like that, or just kind of do some squeeze kneading motion. And that's just going to kind of help you relax. It's a great way to end the day, kind of do a little stretching of the neck. Um, and it's just a great oil to really support easing those muscles, smoothing them out and relaxing them. And it smells amazing. I love the smell of it. Uh, the other, for the rub, I'll tell you a little story. Nicole was talking about um, changes in activity. Well, I was doing massages a lot. And so I felt like I was pretty active, um, but then I got the stay at home order. So Avery and I, my grandson, we turned to gardening. And let me tell you, hauling dirt, rocks, and building raised beds is a whole different muscle group from massaging. So my lower back was starting to feel the stress. So that's what I use this for. If you have severe pain, you can layer these. Um, what I like about this, and I use this one with my massage clients, the Deep Blue Rub, because it's going to stay on longer, because essential oils will naturally evaporate off your skin. That's why they always recommend you use some kind of carrier oil with it, or you can layer. So put this on, you've got that immediate deep impact, and then this helps it last. So those are my oils for muscles, and they also make, um, doTERRA also has created a supplement that's they call it deep blue so you can take it internally for your aches and pains do not take the deep blue oil or rub internally not designed for that but i love it except it's out of stock so i have been watching daily for it to come back in stock because you know when i was giving massages i just i took one or two a day and kept my muscles supple and loose and able to move with me and um yeah, I'm missing that one, but that's another option. And I just want to put it out there that if you guys have any questions about any oils and how they can help you, um, or if you'd ever like to get a sample to try something, just contact me and, or contact Nicole to get to me. However, we're going to do that. I'm sure we'll get some comments in there or something because I, I'd love to help you find out what works for you, but muscles and oils, deep blue. That's my final word. Yeah, I I got to test uh, test that one out, and it's been amazing for me. Um, low back pain, shoulder, neck pain, because I do tend to. I know me personally, I carry my stress in my shoulders and my low back, and so being able to move and relax through those areas has been really beneficial. So a couple of quick stretches. You were talking about massaging in through here, which is a perfect um, perfect segue into the stretches that I was going to talk about just sitting at your desk and being able to do a quick stretch. So, you know, putting your, your hands either at the base of your seats um, or hooked underneath your bottom and then just leaning away is also going to get into stretching there. So maybe you put the deep blue rub on first, do a little bit of massaging through there and then get a nice long sustained stretch. 
is just going to really help those muscles relax. You can do that both directions and then play around. I tell my clients to play around with the angle of the head. You're going to get into different muscle groups um, just by moving the head in different directions. And I find that a lot of people, if you can, if you can give yourself a minute or two every hour, just to do a quick stretch, move your neck around a little bit, stand up, sit down, go for a hundred step walk, whatever, count them, go grab some water, come back. You actually, not only are you going to stop some of those aches and pains, but you're also going to have a more brain power. That's the best way I can describe it. You're going to come back a little bit more refreshed and ready to go and ready to dive into whatever activity you've got to do next in your work life balance <laughs> or lack <life> of. <laughs> um, but yeah, try those couple of things out, quick stretches. And if you're interested in learning more about the, the blue oil um, or the rub or the internal, um, you said there's like a supplement too. Supplement, it yeah. comes back into, comes back in. Don't take the oils or the rubs internally. I did learn that. Right. Today. <laughs> Important safety tip. Important safety tip. Um, but if you're interested in learning more about that, you can uh, just give us a message, shoot us a message. And our plan is to come with you, come to you with weekly tidbits. Um, we're going to be talking about stress management, sleep, um, our nutrition, and then relaxation techniques, going through breathing techniques, and just ways to get through the next few weeks and the next yeah. few months um, as we sort of recalibrate our lives and, and ease back into our day-to-day -day routines again. So we hope that you will send us questions and topics that you're interested in learning more about. And we'd love to hear more from you. So thanks for tuning in and um, just, yeah, send us your questions.